You're looking at video from an emotional video tribute to a Mid-South legend. Charles Cummings passed away this past week and his funeral was yesterday. Now many people will know him as one of the winningest coaches in Mississippi, but he was also a teacher, assistant principal, and a role model to many in the community. His son, Matt Cummings, is live with us this morning. We'll look back at an amazing man. Yes, he was. He what was. was it like growing up under your dad? Well, my daddy was, um, he was always consistent on everything that he'd done. Um, yeah. He was just a great individual. Everybody loved him, um, well respected, and uh, I'm just glad to be here to um, talk about the legacy of my dad. He took care of a lot of business. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And in, in his uh, life of accomplishments, he was the first African-American firefighter in your area. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he, he did so many things in the community of um, Holly Springs, Mississippi. Yeah. I mean, he was just so active on so so much and um he was that um a firefighter right there in mississippi Holly Springs, mississippi yes he was all right and, and when it comes to working in the community he was a teacher yes uh, he was sister principal yes uh a coach of many sports how many different sports did he oh coach? man he um contributed his um, uh, time to football uh, yeah. baseball uh, and we saw that basketball picture there. That was one of his pets, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, he um, started his basketball career over at um, W.A. Higgins High School in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Yeah. And um, after high school, he went to Cahoma Junior College uh, right there in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Oh, that's right. And so um, he um, went, moved to Holly Springs, started coaching instantly. <laughs> um, he's been coaching for so long. And, what would you say is his greatest sports accomplishment? Um, 1982, he took Holly Springs High School, the boys' basketball team, yeah. to the north half. They, they'd never been there before. And uh, that was something that he talked to me about so much until I basically got, you know, got tired of it. But <laughs> that was my dad, and that was a great accomplishment um, for him, um, having that right there. And as you uh, think about his life and the, the people that he's impacted, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, young people that your dad has molded, been a role model for. Yeah, he impacted thousands. Um, he, he did so many great things for people. Um, he treated um, individuals like um, they was um, his own. And um, I, I would never forget that. And what was he like on his uh, quiet side? I mean, he had a lot of energy, but you know, how did he react? I, I really can't remember my dad being quiet. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was always active. He was, um, he was very, very energetic. And um, not too many quiet days that I remember <laughs> of my dad. He was always up full of energy, and um, people will remember him by that. Absolutely. I mean, uh, he's well-known yes, in he the Holly Springs area, in that Mississippi, North Mississippi area. Yes. Uh, what would you say his legacy will be? I think his legacy will be that um, when he talked to you, um, no matter who that individual was, he always presented God. He always let people know about Christ. And I think that that would be something that many people will remember. Um, he was never um, a person that... Um, didn't have time for you. He had time for everybody. And that's the thing I miss about it. Well, hey, we really appreciate this look back at your dad's life and just wish you a lot of success and our condolences to the family. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Well, stay tuned. More news, weather, and sports are just ahead this morning on WMC Action News 5 Weekend. How do I...